Hello, my name is Elijah Smith. I'm an undergraduate student studying computer science at Grand Valley State University. In the summer of 2019, I began working with Dr. Byron DeVries and Dr. Christian Treffs to realize and test a faster new algorithm for Voronoi diagram computation. I'll explain what Voronoi diagrams are, how our algorithm works, and how it compares to other similar algorithms. Voronoi diagrams are easiest to understand when presented visually. The diagram here has 10 seeds, which are represented by black dots, and 10 Voronoi regions, which are represented by colored areas. Each Voronoi region contains all the space that is closer to its single enclosed seed than to any other seed. For example, all the blue space is closest to the top left seed, and all the green space is closest to the top right. Voronoi diagrams are useful in a variety of fields, from finite difference methods and image compression in computer science and engineering to representations of cell biology in the natural sciences. However, generating the Voronoi diagram for a set of seeds becomes computationally expensive as the complexity of the required diagram grows. Our research was motivated by the desire to create an algorithm that improved Voronoi computation on a discretized plane without needing special hardware. This is an integer grid-based version of a Voronoi diagram. The bold numbers represent seeds, and the empty grids represent unassigned spaces. The algorithm colors in the blank spaces on the incomplete diagram with numbers until it becomes like the completed diagram on the right. In this version, it is easier to show the process behind our divide and conquer method. To compute this diagram, the standard naive way is to analyze it incrementally, one square at a time. You check the distance from here to every seed, then you move on, check the distance from here to every seed, and so on, but this is slow. Our divide and conquer method saves time by treating the diagram plane as a rectangle and analyzing its four corners. If all four corners belong to the same Voronoi region, then we can conclude that everything within the rectangle is also part of that region. We'll go through the full algorithm step by step. The first thing to do is analyze the four corners of the entire plane. If all four corners are closest to the same seed, then the entire diagram will be labeled with only one number. However, as is often the case, the corners of this diagram do not share a closest seed. So it's divided into four quadrants. Our next step is to analyze the four corners of each quadrant, just as we analyzed the whole plane before. In this case, two of the quadrants have satisfactory corners, so the entirety of those quadrants can be labeled. The remainder did not have corners that were closest to the same seed, so they alone are further subdivided. As long as the starting point is a rectangle, Continuing this subdivision process will eventually color every coordinate and do so with complete accuracy. We used array representations of Voronoi diagrams in a Java program to compare the speed of the naive one at a time method with that of our divide and conquer method. We performed tests on diagrams of different sizes from 32 by 32 to 2048 by 2048 and with differing seed amounts from 10 to 100 seeds. When comparing different grid sizes with a constant number of seeds, our algorithm significantly outperformed the naive approach at large sizes, computing diagrams in half the time. When testing with different seed amounts on a 2048 by 2048 diagram, the divide and conquer method again outperformed the naive approach. Now I would like to talk briefly about what sets our algorithm apart from other influential ones. Unlike methods that make use of the GPU, including parallelized versions of Naive and Jump Flow, the divide and conquer method requires no specialized hardware. Jump Flow computes very quickly, but it also can produce small errors, while divide and conquer guarantees 100% accuracy. The sweep line algorithm is a powerful method that completes a Voronoi diagram by creating line segments that surround the borders of each Voronoi region. This algorithm has the limitation of requiring special handling for seeds that are reached simultaneously by the sweep line. And unlike our algorithm, it does not operate on discretized spaces that allow constant time lookup. In conclusion, the results of our research indicate that the divide and conquer method may be useful to applications on embedded or resource constrained systems. In regard to related work, we want to adapt the method to work using geodesic distance too. While our Euclidean algorithm divided a flat plane into rectangles, 
our geodesic algorithm will divide a spherical plane into octants. As you can see in this picture, the surface of every octant is a triangular region that can be manipulated to reduce the number of calculations necessary for Voronoi diagram computation. I'd like to thank the Michigan Space Grant Consortium for funding this work, and thank you all for listening.